Stephen Avon. I'm Dylan Lloyd. And I'm Harley Willow. Thanks for watching the Oriole Report. Some scientists say the New York Harbor has been polluted and depleting marine life for years. Now one nonprofit is working to revive the ecosystem. The Billion Oyster Project has been helping to rebuild oyster reefs in the water surrounding New York City. So far, the group has been able to restore 30 million oysters to local waters. Now let's check in with Grant Roof for our Avon forecast. It will be cloudy with a high of 33 and a low of 31. Tomorrow, to start off our three-day weekend, we'll get snow and, and wind with a high of 33 and a low of 9. Then on Sunday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 15 and a low of negative 6. And lastly, on Monday, we will have a high of 17 and a low of 12. Like I said, we'll get some snow and ice this weekend, so drivers, be safe on the roads. Let's send it back to the desk for some more news. We begin with a look at activities you can find to celebrate MLK Day on Monday. According to the Indy Star, on Monday you can get free admission at Connor Prairie from 10 to, from 10 to 5. At the Ethel George Museum, admission is free with a non-perishable food donation per person. The same deal goes for Indiana State Museum. The NCAA Hall of Champions, New Fields, and the Zoo. The Children's Museum will also have free admission from 10 to 5. There are more details and deals. Check out Indy Star for more information. Students will, have, will not have school this day as we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. But what does this day really mean? Daryl shows us. Black History Month is quickly approaching. In order to start this empowering month, we want to start with one of the most inspiring leaders, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King was an African-American revolutionist. He believed peace and unity can change the world. Well, with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., um, he was definitely a uh, inspirational individual, and what he did during the Civil Rights Movement and his love nonviolence approach was exactly what our nation needed uh, in a time of turmoil and hostility. And the way he was able to bring groups of people together was definitely a very positive part in our time and our history. Dr. King was more than just a leader. He was an author and a father. His influence was spread throughout America, touching people's hearts and shaking the government. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did a lot of uh, work with uh, first President John F. Kennedy, and then when uh, JFK tragically was assassinated, worked with uh, President Lyndon Baines Johnson in trying to get a Civil Rights Act passed. Uh, and then also eventually a year later getting a vote, Voting Rights Act passed and those helped uh, first of all African Americans uh, be seen as more as equals in, in our government system as well as taking away uh, different uh, limitations for some African Americans such as having to take a literacy test to be able to vote or even having to pay a poll tax to be able to vote. And so those were big instrumental things that he helped to uh, change in our government during the civil rights movement. Now, outside the revolution, Dr. King, I mean, he was first and foremost, he was a minister. Um, he was a preacher and uh, I think his work in the church and um, spreading the gospel, I think that was his number one, uh, what, what he saw his number one purpose to be. And then that um, that work as, as a minister led him uh, to become more political and fight for his people. Dr. King was once arrested in Birmingham, Alabama because he was leading an anti-segregation march. Not only him, but the local people were attacked unlawfully. I, I think this was the 1960s. We had already um, seen the death of one president in uh, Kennedy. Unfortunately, uh, Dr. King would be assassinated and then just a few months later you would have Kennedy's brother who would be assassinated and this was Americans were were scared they were they were very upset um, that all of these political leaders were being just killed and I think it led Americans all Americans especially white Americans come to a, a, a conclusion that we need to end this violence and we need to find solutions uh, and end the division especially the racial division in America Dr. King was one of the most influential leaders of the Civil Rights Movement. 
and a model citizen for those who listen to him speak. Now a message from Dr. King himself. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Next month, we will have a special show dedicated to Black History Month. For HS News, I'm Daryl Hardy. And for sports tonight, at 6 p.m., boys JV and freshman basketball teams will be away at Fishers. At 7.30 p.m., boys varsity basketball is also away at Fishers. On Saturday at 9 a.m., boys varsity wrestling will be away for the JV HCC invite at, and Warren Central JV Super Duels at 1 p.m. Girls JV and freshman basketball teams will go against Fishers here at home. Then later on at 2.30, the varsity will take their turn against Fishers here at home as well. It's a new year and new month. Our Laura Ryle shows us big movies hitting the theaters. Hello, and welcome to the first Movies of the Month review of 2019. Today, we are going to be reviewing some big movies hitting theaters this January. Let's get started. I specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. <laughs> Good for you. Director M. Night Shyamalan brings together the narratives from his two original productions, Unbreakable and Split, into one explosive thriller known as Glass. From Unbreakable, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson are back as David Dunn and Elijah Price, also known as Mr. Glass. Also joining from Split is James McAvoy as Kevin Wendell Crumb and his multiple identities that reside within him. Following the conclusion of Split, Price finds Dunn pursuing Crumb's superhuman figure as the Beast in multiple encounters while Price emerges as an orchestrator who holds critical secrets to both men. There's one thing I know about the world. It's not the little things that matter. It's the tiny things. If you weren't as interested in the last film, this heartwarming, family-friendly movie may be more up your alley. A Dog's Way Home follows the life of Bella, a puppy who finds her way into the arms of Lucas, a young man who becomes her owner. Bella is then accidentally separated from her human companion and finds herself on a 400 mile journey to reunite with her owner. This movie is sure to leave you entertained and may have you shed some tears. You need to prove you're looking for work. Yeah, I've been looking, trust me. Three signatures by tomorrow. Upside, starring Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston, brings together two completely different people in one epic comedy. Philip is a wealthy quadriplegic who needs a caretaker to help him with his day-to-day -day routine in his New York penthouse. He decides to hire Del, a struggling parolee who's trying to reconnect with his ex and son. Despite having two completely different lives, an unlikely friendship starts to blossom as the fun-loving Del shows curmudgeonly Philip that life is worth living. Boxes on the hillside. Little boxes made of ticky tacky little boxes on the hillside. And they all look just the same. Escape Room, an original film by director Adam Robitel, follows six adventurous strangers that travel to a mysterious building to experience the escape room, a game where players compete to solve a series of puzzles to win one million dollars. What starts to be an innocent game, however, turns into a living nightmare as the group discovers each room is an elaborate trap that's part of a sadistic game of life or death. This mystery will leave you on the edge of your seat until the very end. Month we have in store for us. This has been the Movies of the Month review of January, and next time we are going to be reviewing some movies hitting theaters in February. For AHS News, I'm Laura Ryle. Now let's see what is cooking up in the Oriel Kitchen today. In the home style line, breaded chicken drumstick, dinner roll, steamed broccoli, and of course, a chocolate chip cookie. In the international line, Asian bowl, steamed broccoli, green beans, and that chocolate chip cookie. In the grab and go line, Italian salad, Italian sub combo, protein box, yogurt meal, barbecue rib sandwich, PBJ Uncrustable, and you guessed it, a chocolate chip cookie. Seniors, if you haven't already, make sure to complete your diploma name survey in Naviance today. 
Stop by the ALC Guidance Office if you need help. And don't forget, if you see something, say something to help keep our school safe. That's all for our show this morning. Have a great weekend.